almost eight years ago, our daughter Naomi was brought into this world and she was born healthy. And two days after, uh, we received a call from the hospital saying that she had tested positive um, with a genetic disorder that showed up on her newborn screening test. Uh, so we had to take her back for further blood tests. So the, we went back to McMaster and uh, they drew blood from her. It was horrible watching her scream. It was, they, they couldn't find a needle small enough. She was six pounds. Um, and then about a few weeks later, it came back positive. So the doctor had said, you know, she's got a genetic disorder and this is what we're gonna have to do to deal with it. And um, I think I was just shocked. I had no idea what the implications were at the time. Uh, the doctor just looked at me and said, are you gonna be okay? Because I, I think I just looked shell-shocked. I think, I think part of it is you have this great anticipation of, of having a new, new member of your family. I mean, and you get this little, pretty beautiful little peanut and you're just so happy that, well, it's our first daughter and, and she's just captivated our world. And then, a few days later, you get this call. So I wrote, um, I wrote a journal to Naomi, um, not planning that I would document this, her medical history. I just decided, oh, it's my, my daughter, and girls like to talk about their emotions and feelings and capturing sentimental things, so I thought I would journal to her. So I would journal a few times a week, and. I would take note of um, my own feelings and what she, her milestones. And um, at about three months in, I noticed a difference in her and I talked about it in the journal. She had this disorder, so she can't uh, metabolize her foods appropriately. So, you know, maybe this is all wrapped up in that. So you're, you're kind of dealing with, with, with the colic and the discomfort and, and assuming it's, it, it's all part of the same issue. And, and slowly those things started to abate. They started to go away. And, and I think that's when we noticed, hey, this, everything feels so much different. There's mm -hmm. a peace that's, that is blanketing us right now. I remember writing in the journal that I said, Naomi, this is, I think this is a true test of faith. You know, to go on this journey un, un, that's unknown and that I have to look to God for all the answers and for the strength to get through this. Because I knew, I know on my own strength that I wouldn't be able to handle this emotionally. I would crumble. So I really need to rest in, in his care and his comfort. Uh, we had to bring her back in for further tests and things like that to confirm the severity of it. So she's already diagnosed, um, but they had to figure out a treatment plan. And this is about, this is at four months. We got the DNA test and they had to take a skin biopsy. And uh, it came back negative. So he just said, listen, she doesn't have this disease anymore and there's nothing he could say to explain it other than it's, a, it's an anomaly, a genetic anomaly. I was ecstatic and baffled all at the same time when we received that the notice but that that was that was the best and going in to see him on that day the best part of, of the journal too was those two words ecstatic and baffled and when a doctor says to you we we really can't explain this result for us it kind of felt like well well we can <laughs> we know why yeah i mean my convictions tell me that there was a miracle, that God healed her. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I know, I just, it's, it left me speechless. We know that there are family members around us, there are friends around us, there are people in our congregation that need to know that God has a miracle for you and, are, and there's people who are waiting for that miracle to happen. But let's realize that he's here with us now. And God is good. God is good. He is faithful and we're on a journey together.
and we don't know what his will is. We don't know what his will is for our lives. We don't know his timing, but we know that he wants the best for his children.